for gasoline and diesel, there's another fuel that could become more mainstream, alcohol. Because in June 2023, the Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari said that India would have vehicles that could fully run on ethanol. What does that mean? Cars have been around for more than 100 years and ever since the first one, they've been fueled by gasoline. But there's another kind of fuel for vehicles you may not have heard of. Apart from the electric vehicles you probably know of, there are also ethanol fueled vehicles. If you are not too big on science, what's the difference between gasoline and ethanol? Gasoline and diesel are fossil fuels that come from crude oil and it is said to produce higher greenhouse gas emissions and contribute more to air pollution. Ethanol on the other hand is made from renewable sources like sugarcane, corn and wheat. It is said to burn cleaner than gasoline to produce fewer harmful emissions. And since ethanol could be produced locally, there wouldn't be dependence on foreign oil imports. So there could be regional economic growth. This could help India's agriculture sector. And yes, ethanol is a kind of alcohol. Just don't drink it though. Your ethanol is toxic for you. There have been times where ethanol is blended with gasoline to be an alternative fuel in some countries. There's E10, which is 10% ethanol and 90% gasoline. E85, which is 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. But now, there can be E100, which is 100% ethanol. So why care about all this? Because the Indian government seems to be pushing for green mobility. There have been small amounts of ethanol mixed with petrol since the early 2010s in India. But it's small amounts of ethanol like 4%. Gadkari has shared plans that Toyota would be launching its Camry that would be fully ethanol based and could hit the Indian markets by August 2023. Even two-wheeler vehicles like Hero, Bajaj and TVS could have scooters that could fully run on ethanol. This is different from EVs which run on electricity. EVs would require new charging infrastructure to be implemented across the country. But ethanol could use the existing infrastructure of gasoline stations. And if you're fueling your EV, it could take Hours and fueling your ethanol powered vehicle, it could take minutes. But can 100% ethanol be corrosive to vehicles? Maybe it could damage or degrade some materials like rubber, plastic and more. However, this is probably taken into account during the manufacturing and engineering process of ethanol cars using specialized materials. But this would mean that going 100% ethanol cars could be more expensive to manufacture. But it's more expensive to make, the car may be expensive for a consumer. So while the fueling may be cheaper, the cost of buying an ethanol car could be more compared to a gasoline car. Brazil has had flex fuel vehicles which mix ethanol and gasoline since 2003. But this seems to have done some good for Brazil in terms of boosting the agricultural sector, reducing dependency on oil, exporting ethanol and more. But some say this may have raised their costs. The more production of ethanol, the more the scale of production, the higher the cost of extracting ethanol from corn or sugarcane. Could this become a problem in India as well? Also, if corn and sugarcane are used more to extract ethanol, they are multifunctional because their traditional use is human and animal consumption. So would they be diverted from its traditional use to fueling vehicles? That could be worrying, especially since India ranks 107 out of 1 to 1 countries in 2020's Global Hunger Index. Or will it be that there's excess grain, sugarcane and corn that could give farmers an alternative income stream? Because a crop like sugarcane is said to be surplus in India. Ethanol fueled vehicles give farmers the thing that influencers have been talking about, an alternative source of income. Also, crops like sugarcane and corn are said to be water intensive. So, the more the craze for ethanol fueled vehicles, the more the water that may be consumed. Basically, it may not be as environmentally friendly as it could be. It's the same thing with people going for almond milk instead of dairy milk. They could do it to help the cows, but almond trees are quite water intensive and the shipping of almonds is carbon intensive. So, one good thing gets negated by the bad thing due to unintended consequences. Nonetheless, ethanol 
fossil fuel vehicles might gain more traction. In 2022, in an address to India on her 75th independence, PM Narendra Modi spoke about the need to transform India into an energy independent nation before she turns 100. He also mentioned a target of complete 20% ethanol blending fuel by 2025. In 2022, there were close to 330 million vehicles in India. By the time we get to 2030, how many of these would be powered by fossil fuels? How many by EVs? And how many would be 100% ethanol? Is the next car you drive going to be fueled by ethanol? Because that should be the only alcohol in your car while you're driving.